Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all okay. I am, as always, Lucha FM. I'm um, doing the Fight Club Pro Save for um, TUW 2020. Now, this episode was already recorded previously, but um, I completely ballsed up booking. Um, so, basically, I was booking the um, Tag Team Dream Invitational Tournament thing that Fight Club Pro used to do every year. And I accidentally put the final match as the opening match, completely ballsed it up. So, and I couldn't get out of it. So I just, I just, I'll, I'll show you in a minute through the show history what I end up doing. But, uh, so that's why that event's not on there. So if you, just a, so you don't get too confused when you watch it. But yeah, um, thank you as always for following and subscribing. Every so often I will cock up. I'm still very new to this, um, but hopefully we'll we'll be all right overall. But. I just want to do a little intro just to say thank you and hopefully this episode will be good no no issues moving forward and thank you for everybody, anybody who watched the previous few episodes um like i said i'll be trying to do thursdays and sundays on youtube so yeah and if anybody would like to leave me comments about my booking if there's anything that i can do that you want to recommend improving my booking's ability on here then let me know. Anyway, I'll be back in the set for the first part of the episode. All right, we're back in this lovely, lovely mess up of an episode. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through um, the the roster and the additions that I've made. So um, Alex Gracie, I signed him and Lucas Archer. I called them the movement um, because they didn't have their they didn't have their tag team chemistry on here for some reason. So I'll I'll Google it well, offline and change their name. Uh, change their name appropriately, but at the moment they're called the Movement. So Alex Gracie and Lucas Archer. Um, actually, let's do the female roster first. Then we'll do the male roster afterwards. Cause it's easier. So I brought in Jetta, who used to be. Uh, well, she still is, but she was uh, quite well known. Back in my day, uh, for FWA and XWA in the UK, so uh, mostly wrestles in Coventry. So I've re, I'm sorry, I've signed her up, which I think she'd have some good matches with Ginny, and then Kira Chamara as well. I signed who looks like a good prospect. Uh, I mean, I say that she's thirty years old, but she seems like a good wrestler. So and then Soraya Knight, which I'll explain in a minute. And Sierra Loxton. And then on the male side, I've signed a few tag teams. So the first tag team I've got is Alex Gracie and Lucas Archer. I've called them the movement for now. Um, I need to Google it and find out what their real tag team name is. For some reason, it's not on here. Uh, I signed a wrestler called Chris Boggs. Um, because I used to actually have a friend called Chris Boggs, so it made me laugh. But um, he's also got good charisma and microphone stuff like that so it was worth getting him in chris the bambi killer um people might remember him back in the day he was a bit of a uh, a standout on the indies um quite good skills and stuff like that decent popularity and then clint margera and damian dunn who i signed mostly because they were former fight club pro wrestlers um i signed david rain dave rain sorry dean allmark Bill Black Jr. and uh, Joe Henry, I've signed somehow. Don't ask me how. Um, but yeah, good, great addition to the roster. And then uh, him and Kenny Williams will probably have a good match, actually. Um, who else have I signed? This one here, Luis uh, Federere Santos Jr., the scout recommended me signing him. He actually wrestled once or twice for Fight Club Pro, I think. Um, but he he usually wrestles for the um, Attack Pro Wrestling. He's in a stable with the uh, with Damian Dunn. So I'm also I've also signed Warren Banks as well, who was who has a gimmick as a police officer, same as Damian Dunn. So I might just put these lot in a stable and uh, offline and that. So maybe the next episode you'll see them as a stable. Um, yeah, Lucas Archer, as I've mentioned. Well, Mike Bird, I've signed him and Wild Ball, so they're a tag team of Marudas. Uh, Ricky J. McKenzie, who was 
who is Sam Gradwell. So I'm just going to load up his alter ego. So he's now Sam Gradwell. Uh, Robbie X, as I've mentioned before, he tags up with Damien Dunn. Ricky Knight Jr. So I've signed the Knight family, basically. Uh, you'll see a few more of them in a sec. Robert Shaw, decent worker. Well, looks a bit good brawling. Um, set to good selling and consistency. So Roy Nunn. Roy Nunn? Roy Knight, I apologise. Um, and then there's Zach Zodiac as well. So There's Ricky Knight Jr. here and as well. I must have forgot. But yeah, I think he's Officer Banks. Ah, oh, they haven't got his gimmick on here. Oh, well, I'll change it. I'll change it offline afterwards. Uh, I tried to go for Trent Seven, Eddie Dennis, Mark Andrews, Dave Mastiff, and one or two others, but they all wanted too much money at the moment. I wasn't willing to pay it. So maybe in a month, maybe in a couple of months' time, I might look into signing them. Uh, but at the moment, I'm happy with the roster I've got. So I've got a new stable called Fighting With My Family, based on the documentary involving the Knight family. So uh, you've got Ricky Knight as the leader, Soraya Knight as the deputy, and then Ricky Knight Jr., Roy Knight, and Zach Zodiac. So there you go. Um, tag teams, we'll just go through the tag teams. We've got a new tag team, Guilty by Heist. Sorry, Guilty by Habit, which is Damien Dunn and Robbie X. Outside the Law, which is Tiger... Oh, I can't remember his name now, sorry. And, oh, there you go, Tiger Alley and Mark Billington. And then um, Perfectly Violent, which is TK Cooper and Dave Rain. Retro Pop, which is Dave Rain and Sam Bailey. The 198, which is Morgan Webster and Wild Ball. Um, the Doom Patrol, which is Jetta and Lana Austin. Uh, the Elite Generation, which is Ricky Knight Jr. and Connor Mills. The Marauders, um, Mike, Bird and Wild Ball. The Movement, which I've already mentioned, Lucas Archer and uh, Alex Gracie. And then, obviously, we've got... And then the UK Hooligans, which is Roy Knight and Zach Zodia. So, there you go. So, that's the tag teams sorted. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We'll have a look at the show history for a second. So, I'll just go through this bumble by me. So, basically, the new element, which is Joseph Connors and Kellen Williams... They were meant to go against the UK Hooligans in the final of the Dream Tag Team Invitational. Now, the Dream Tag Team Invitational is just, sim it's just simply a tag team tournament that Fight Club Pro used to do uh, once a year. And I was trying to have this as the final, and I forgot to push it to the top and of the card, and it ended up being the opening match. And I then clicked the next match um, going, because I thought, I'll oh, sod it, we'll just continue. It is what it is. Um, but I changed, and then I was just not. I was just not happy. Then I, so I turned, I turned, I deleted everything from that. I deleted everything from after this match here, and I basically redone when I just had the two semi-finals and the final. Um, but I also did a tag team match with Ginny and Sarai Knight, defeating Jetta and Kira Chimera, and then we did Guilty by Habit, which is obviously Damien Dunn and Robbie X defeat the Movement, which is Lucas Archer and Alex Gracie in the one semi-final, and then we had the Marauders defeating the Hunter Brothers in the other semi-final. Um, and then we just did an angle to set up the final match, which is Guilty by Habit, who defeated the Marauders to win the Dream Tag Team Invitational. Um, we got 600 viewers for that show. Uh, our deal was uh, expiring with WX uh, now, so I managed to extend it for another three months. So that's good. And then uh, show rating, got 47. We got 76 attendance um, and then if we look at the finances we've got we made we were up to 30 yeah we're up to 34,000 so by the looks that we made if you look at this we made from month to month we made about eight grand well seven grand there and then eight grand there and then 11 grand there so it's 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 going up every time um, but we made 10,940 for the performance Ticket sales, we've got 684, which is a new record for us. 80 for broadcast venue, revenue, sorry. Um, and then sponsors, 3,620. 67 uh, pounds for, for merchandise, which is slightly up from the last one. 
and then 13,832. So our alliance payouts are getting, going up and up and up, which is mostly probably because we've got Ring of Honor in there. So we're quite lucky to have that. So yeah, so we're doing well. And then this month we've done okay so far, but we've only just started. Um, we've got our next show in a second called uh, Infinity, which is one of their big shows, I think, that Fight Club Pro used to do. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the creative side of things on here. So Killer Kelly is um, main event, uh, is currently, sorry, she is impressive star presence and extremely impressive charisma. In terms of her appeal and ability to draw fans in, there is no question that is currently uh, number one wrestler. So there's her and then there's Michael Oku, TK Cooper, Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams. If we just quickly look at the next big things, Therese, Luke Jacobs and Dana Luna, hot prospects Luke Jacobs, Best people on the mic is Joe Henry, TK Cooper, Kenny Williams, Morgan Webster, and Sarai Knight. Uh, so quick the showstoppers. I think I think they're basically straightforward. Ricky Knight Jr. is in the mix now. I think they were the same as before. Um, let's have a look at Hidden Gems. Uh, Jason Prime. Yeah, we'll sign him because he was part of the tag team with the Maroodas, wasn't he? So we can have him in a stable with them. Of course, he has a very impressive beard. We know we like a bit. We like a man with a beard here. Um, Lloyd Cat. Hmm. I don't know who he is actually. I'll leave it. Right. Um. Right. So let's crack on with the next show. Hopefully, there'll be no mess ups by me. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we can try and get a really good show here. Um, yeah, thank you. While I'm waiting for this, though, thank you as always for everyone that's been watching and following and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate it. There we go. And yeah, that's that's me uh, filling a bit of time. Oh yeah, I forgot to. I think I don't know if I said it in the last episode, but Johnny Kids took Blue Kane under his. Um, he's now Blue Kane's now with Protege basically. So he's been passing on tips of psychology. So uh, yeah, so that's good. Right, so. Um, we just need to do this now. Automatic save. Yes. Right. Let's get cracking with the show. So we'll do the main event first. So we've got loads of new wrestlers now. So we we've got some fresh matchups here. Kenny Williams has got uh quite a few fresh opponents for him. So we'll do Joe Henry. Uh, let's just do twenty. Let's not not go crazy. We go we'll go steal the show. Uh, Victor Kenny Williams. Uh, I'd advise against putting Joe in a match this length. He does not have the bit. Okay. So unfortunately, Joe Henry doesn't have the stamina, so we'll probably just have to do a regular match then. It's a shame. Right. So that's the main event sorted, and then we need to put Ginny in the match because she's our other standout performer. We've got a couple more women wrestlers. We could still do with boost in the women's roster a bit. It's, right, we'll do Soraya Knight for this one. Just do 15 minutes. Do Ginny as the winner. Uh, let's do a couple of angles to keep these people happy. So we'll do uh, Kenny Williams, microphone, and then we'll do Joe Henry, microphone. And we'll do the same for the women's one. I oh, know, we'll, we'll do fighting for these two. Fighting, fighting. Right, so that's that. So that's lined up nicely. Okay, so then we'll do, do a tag team match now. We've got quite a few tag teams now, so we can do a couple of four. We can do some like we can do a four way tag team for the first time in a long time. Male, then we'll do tag view, exclude already booked. So we'll go destination everywhere. Guilty by higher, uh, guilty by habit. Uh, put perfectly violent in there, and the Maroodas. Uh, 
we do steal the show for this one? Let's see if it'll let us do it for this one. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll do an angle with CK Cooper microphone because he's good on the mic apparently. I think from what I remember. Uh who else? Who's his tag team partner in? Oh we'll just leave him. We'll just leave, we'll just have it in on there. Let's uh let's get a blue cane squash match in there before we forget. Blue cane, let's see if we can add them against. Uh try Tiger Ali. Blue cane, domination, blue cane. Blue cane, old, cool. That's fine, we don't care. And we'll do a post match beatdown. Right, so how much we've we done so far? 101 minutes. Um, we are, we don't need to worry about any more angles, we can just do matches now, I think we'll be alright. Alright, let's see who we got left on the women's side. We can do Minnie McKenzie versus uh, Jetta. That should be a good match actually. Leave that as that. That could be the opening match. Um, how long we got left? Another, we've got another match in us now. So let's have a look. Mail, oh, mail. Uh, Chris the Bambi Killer, let's try him out. And have him against, who hasn't debuted yet? Sam Gravwell, put him against Sam Gravwell. Right, so that's that. Let's see. Uh, let's push this down. And then push that down. Right, why are they not happy? Tiger Ali is extremely happy. We don't care about that. Um, pin lies for less than three matches. Right, okay. So uh, we'll do this one storytelling then. Right, they're happy. Right, let's start this show. So, Blue Kane defeated Tiger Ali in 10 minutes. Um, the announced quality lifted the match, so that's good. Uh, the match got off to a strong start, got a 23 rating. The angle afterwards um, got a 24. Every, they're into Blue Kane by the looks of which is good. Uh, Sam Gravwell defeated Chris the Bambi Killer. And I've got a 55 rating. Um, standout for out of them two was Chris the Bambi Killer with 56. Uh, not too bad though. Minnie McKenzie defeated Jetta. Got a 59 rating. Uh, Jetta had a 72, so that's good. So that's that gives me confidence that her and Ginny could have a really good match, I reckon. The announcing of Matt Richards was bad though. So, I don't know. Maybe we need to change Matt Richards. I forgot to get rid of him. I was meant to get rid of him. So Alex Shane. Swap him. Oh yeah, got him on that one. That's fine. Alex Shane for that one. Uh, this one as well. Nearly finished. Right, so that's that. So hopefully we can continue now and everything will be fine. Uh, TK Cooper got an angle that got 55, which is pretty good for an angle. Usually we don't do very well with them. And then uh, 
glory, uh, sorry, guilt, I keep saying glory by habit. Guilty by habit defeated uh, the rest of the tag teams, got a 59 rating. Uh, Michael Oak got a 74 rating. Damien Dunn got a 74 rating. Kiko Kuka had a 78. Bob Boy had a 77. Um, so, yeah, so that's good to know. So, Mike Wild Ball is way better than Mike Bird. Uh, Tico Cooper stands out as well. It was a good performer, but we've known that for a while now. At least Damien Dunn's good as well. So put them in a couple of single match. Maybe Damien Dunn versus TK Cooper next show. That's my dog running around like a maniac, by the way. Sorry about that. Match got the crowd buzzing. The performance of TK Cooper stood out being good, so that's good. Uh, Wall Ball sustained an injury. Uh, the angle with Ginny and Soraya Knight got a 44 rating. The match got a 59 rating. So, yeah, maybe Soraya Knight probably not going to be a wrestler, uh, more of a manager, I think, moving forward. She's she's getting on a bit, bless her. I wouldn't mess with her, though, by the way. In, re like, in reality, Ginny and Soraya Knight are two very like scary women. They would have a very hard-hitting match, um, and it probably would get a really good reaction from the crowd. So... That's why I went for it, but you know, still got 59 with them, too bad. The angle with Kenny Williams and Joe Henry got 50 rating, which I thought would have got better considering they're very good on the mic. Yeah. And then the match only got 64 rating. Hmm. Joe Henry not that good in the ring. Oh well. Uh, and then obviously the announcers let down the main event, so. But we've increased the popularity in nine regions. We've got a 60 rating and we only got but we only got 38 people to turn up. That's not good. I was meant to put Killer Kelly in there because she's apparently really good. So that's my fault for not putting her in it. Let's just have a look, see if there's any news. Um yeah, we've got 600 viewers, so the same. Wild Ball's out with a strained bicep. Let's have a quick look, see how long he's injured for. Uh, where is medical? There it is. Oh, oh, Mark Billington's out for a long time, by the way. Three months and three weeks. That's such a shame. Um, and then Wild Ball is out for five days. Yeah, we'll be back for the next show anyway. We're now at 21% momentum, 3% prestige. So our prestige has gone up slightly, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, so um, sadly, we have I have some tragic news to announce for uh, this game. In-game, not in real life. But uh, Scott Steiner has died from a drug overdose by the looks of it. Uh, Hinting that well-known use of drugs was the main cause of the death. That's a shame. So no Scott Steiner in the game anymore. That's a that's a damn shame. That is. Um, before we go to the next show, final show of the episode, I just thought I'd basically uh, go through some of the other companies and see how they're getting on. Um, so let's have a look at AEW. So we've got the AEW World Champions Daniel Bryan. Um, sorry, Bryan Danielson. So it went from Samoa Joe to Darby Allen, and then he defended it six times. And then Brian Danielson's won it, and he's had eight successful title reign, uh, title defences. So, and then the AW Tag Team Champions are Alex Reynolds and John Silver, the Dark Order. So we went from Sting and Darby Allen who vacated them, and then Isaiah, Casty, and Mark Quinn, private party won. They had three defences before they lost it to Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, who had six defences, and then they lost it to the best friends, Trent and Chuck, who also had six defences, uh, and then they lost to the Dark Order, and they have um, one successful title round, but it's only one su successful title defence, um, but they've only just had it for a, a, a small while. The uh, women's champion is Athena. For some reason, there's no photo for her, but yeah. Uh, Tony Storm lost it to Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose defended it three times before losing it to 
Kara Shida, who had three defences of her own. Before she lost to Ashley Sabera, who is um, um, Dan Danny. Oh, what's her name? I don't. It, it, yeah. Anyway, um, not important. Um, but yeah, uh, and then Athena won it. So she she's defended it twice so far. And Big Bill is the TNT world champion. So it went bloody hell. There's been a lot of people who had this title. So Christian lost it to Penta. Penta had it four, for, defended it four times before losing it to Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels had, uh, defended it six times successfully before losing to Isaiah Cassidy. who had it for four uh, defences before losing to Ricky Starks. Had it four defences before losing it to Bandido. Successfully um, defended it five times before losing to Shibata. Who, Shibata, sorry, who defended it four times before losing to Danhausen. And then Danhausen had it for... Five defences before Ricky Starks won it for the second time, who then lost it to his tag team partner. Uh, Big Bill's had it for two defences. Uh, the Casino Royal Battle... Oh, no, that won't matter. Anyway, Adam Page won it. But um, FCW champion is currently Ray Phoenix. So it's gone from Hook to Jack Perry to Hook again to Ray Phoenix to Kill Switch to Scorpio Sky and Kota Ibushi before... To Goes back to Ray Phoenix. Um, Kota Ibushi had the most successful defences alongside uh, Hook in his second reign with eight defences. Uh, the international champion is Eddie Kingston. I don't know why. I haven't got a photo of Eddie Kingston there, but anyway. Um, so Sammy Guevara won it and then Ray Phoenix won it. So Ray Phoenix is picking up a few belts in AEW at the moment. The Blade won it then. Um, and then Eddie Kingston has won the title and he's had five successful title reigns. God, there's so many titles at AEW, aren't there? Uh, Kota Ibushi is currently the AEW Continental Champion. So Eddie Kingston lost it to Colt Cabana, who then lost it to Sammy Guevara, um, who then lost it to Danny Garcia, and then he lost it to Kota Ibushi. Kota Ibushi then defended it once successfully. Trios champions, so um, the Acclaim lost it to Ortiz, Eva Uno and Stu Grayson, who then lost it to Mark Quinn, Dan Housen and Mark Briscoe, who then lost it to Ricky Starks, Matt, Mark, yeah, Max Castor and Anthony Bowens, and then they lost it to the Dralistico, Dustin Rhodes and Shibata. That's a weird bloody combination, isn't it? Um... And then the TBS champion is currently Angelico. So I don't know why, because it's supposed to be a women's title. <laughs> so there must be a cock up on this data. Or is it a women's title? No, it is a women's title because Julia Hart had it. Then Jack Perry won it. Then Kota Ibushi, then Christopher Daniels, then it was vacated. Then Roderick Strong, Dustin Rose won it, and then Angelico won it. So God knows what's happened there. But anyway, so that's that. Let's have a look at the, uh, here's a quick look at the roster. I don't think there's anybody new there that I can see. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at the profile. Let's have a look at the tag teams there. See if there's any, uh, no. Keep like, no. Children of Violence. Children of Violence, Dustin Rose and Shibata. There you go. The Hunters. Which is Dan Hoosen and Mark Briscoe. The Kings of the Ring, which is Eddie Kingston and Hook. The Wanderers, which is Diano and Tony Storm. So that's the tag team done. Uh, let's have a look at the stables. Best Friends is the same. Bullet Club Gold has got a new leader in um, <clears throat> Brian Cage. The guns are no longer in it. Death Triangle is now Shida, Penta, and Phoenix. I do like the randomness of this. Um, House of Black is the same, but uh, Buddy Matthews is the leader now. Oh no, so so is Malachi. So Buddy Buddy Matthews and Malachi are co-leaders with Brody King. Joe Julia Hart's not in there anymore. 
and then Los Facion Indomilables, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, Rush is still the leader. Miro's is the deputy now. Preston is just a member there. Let's have a look at the elite, sorry. The elite is Okada, Matt Jackson, and Nick Jackson. And then the United, sorry, the Undisputed Kingdom, Adam Cole, Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, Roderick Strong, Wardo, so that's not changed. Uh, let's have a look at show history briefly. Look at, oh, we won't, it'll take us all day to do this. Uh, actually, no, on all shows, events only, there you go. We'll just have a look at the pay, the main events. So in the main event, this one, Samoa Joe defeated Kenny Omega and Adam Page and Park. Ah, sorry. And then the main event for Double or Nothing, Joe, uh, Samoa Joe defeated Jeff Hardy. Fight or Fallen, Fight or Fallen, Samoa Joe defeated Orange Cassidy. All out, the main event was Mercedes Monet defeating Shida. Um, which got a 90 rating, which was pretty good. Uh, the main event for this one was Darby Allen defeating Samoa Joe, Orange Cassidy, and John Moxley. To retain, oh, so, so Darby Allen must have won it on a TV event. And then let's just have a look at this one. And then Revolution, Diane, Bra Diane Brandelson. I knew you said Diane, I said Diane Brandelson there. Brian Danielson defeated Darby Allen to retain the AEW world title. So that's that. All right. That's enough AEW, I think. I don't think there's anything else I need to quickly look at. Is there uh feuds, maybe? No. Right. So we'll just do that. And then let's look at WWE. Actually, let's look at NXT first. So we'll look at NXT, see who's the champion. Sean Spears is the champion. He has had one successful title defence. We've had uh, quite a few people. Oh, this is not very updated, this one. So we went from Dragunov to Baron Corbin and then to Sean Spears. Tag team champions, we've had quite a few by the looks of it. Uh, So oh, yeah, so hold on, let's have a look for that. 2024. Yeah. So it started with um the Italian blokes, I can't remember what the tag team name is now. And then Zach Gibson and Malcolm Moses won it. Uh Noam Dar and Sean Spears won it. And then Sami Singh and Sunu Singh won it. And now we've got Chris Bay and Trick Williams as the current NXT tag team champions. Women's champion is Jessamine Duke. Uh, we've had Blair Davenport, Myra Vakari, um, champions before that. Uh, current champions, and no current champions, but Noam Dar and Jake Atlas won the, I think they won, that's the recent one actually, so they are them. And then Dijak and Drew Gulak won the previous one. May Young Classic, um, Santana Garrett won that one. And then the uh, North American champion is... Uh, Suarev Gujar. Uh, only Lorcan won it from Ober Femi. So let's just oh, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at tag teams. So we've got a team called Cyber Squad, which is Wesley and Eddie Four. Outside the Law, which is Wendy Chu and Santana Garrett. Uh, politically Incorrect, which is Suarev Gujar and Gabe Stevenson. The Blackhawks, which is Carmella Hayes and Brooks Jensen. Brothers of Doom, which is Joe Gacy and Ryan Nova. Uh, the Establishment are Sebastian Swab and Maximus Khan. Uh, the Ghost Raiders, Jessamine Duke and Cora Jade. The Infected are Boa and Shanky Singh. The Jokesters are Dragonov and... Bronco Nima. The new element, which is Nick in my bloody tag team name, the Buggers, uh, are D'Angelo and Channing uh, Lorenzo. Maybe I nicked it from them, actually, but I didn't intentionally nick it from them. I just did a random... I just got them to suggest me a tag team name. And then the trademarks are Chase and AJ Daniels. So um, let's just have a look at stables. I'm not going to go through the shows that they've done, but... 
They've got a tag team called, a stable called The Sickness, which is Baron Corbin's leader. Gajar is the muscle. Mr. Stone is the manager. And Gabe Stevenson is the lackey. And then they've got one called X Force, which is Drew Gulak, Channing Lorenzo, and Tony D'Angelo. That's that. And then let's go on to WWE. We'll have a look at the titles first to see if the champions. Intercontinental champion is Trevor Lee. So we've gone from Gunther to Tozawa. Tozawa is the one to beat Gunther. That's that's a bit of a yeah, that's a bit of a wild one. Uh, and then Austin Fury won it, and then Dominic Mysterio won it before Trevor Lee won it. Uh, money in the bank, current money in the bank holder is Seth Rollins. Cody Rhodes won it the year before. Raw Tag Team Champions is the Viking Raiders. So we've uh, we went from Judgment Day to uh, the AOP to then Otis and Tucker Knight. So it's the big boy division and the tag, the tag team division at the moment on Raw. So Viking Raiders. Uh, sorry for my voice is a bit scratched up in recording stuff all day. So <clears throat> bear with us. So um, yeah, let's have a look. So we went from Io Sky to Charlotte Flair to Rhea Ripley. Who won the Royal Rumble? So Seth Rollins won the Royal Rumble. Cody Rhodes won it before that. SmackDown Tag Team Champions is um, the, the Street Profits. So um, Angelo Dawkins. Uh, yeah, so the Street Profits won it and then lost it to Ricochet and Cedric Alexander and then beat them again. They've had 13 successful title defenses of that since they've, retained, uh, since they've regained their tag titles. Um, so we went... Yeah, so we went Rhea Ripley, then Alexa Bliss won it. And then Asuka's now the champion. United States champion, we went, uh, let me look here, quite a long way ago. So Logan Paul successfully defended it before losing it to Johnny Gargano. Universal champion is Bobby Lashley. So um, Roman Reigns lost to Bobby Lashley and he's had it ever since. Women's Money in the Bank with uh, Nia Jax has won it both years. And then the Women's Royal Rumble, Rhea Ripley won it. And then, oh no, sorry, uh, Becky Lynch won it. Women's Tag Team Champions, we've currently got Naomi and Tamina in there. So we've had uh, Oscar and Kari Zane and then Charlotte Flair and Nia Jax. And then the Heavyweight Champion is still Cody Rhodes. Um, Miz won it at some point though. So the Miz won it for had defended it four times and it was vacated for some reason, and then Cody Rhodes has had it ever since. So that's that. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the tag teams. Uh, let's see if there's any additions here that's not already here. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Uh, the Fallen Stars, which is Nick Aldis and Bo Dallas. The shield in there? Oh, no, that's all right. Sorry, right. I thought it was a different shield then. Two Fly. So we've got a tag team called Two Fly, which is uh, Cedric Alexander and Ricochet. And let's have a look at the stables. So we've got Imperium. That's not changed. Legrado's changed, Drew McIntyre's the leader now with, uh, co-leader with, sorry, co-leader co with Jinder Mahal and Escobar, and you've got Humberto as one of the members there. There's a, there's a stable called The Citizens with Cody Rhodes, uh, Tozawa, Dragon Lee, and Flip Gordon. And then the Unstable, which is Roman Reigns is the leader, MVP is Deputy, and the Creed Brothers. So there you go. So that's an interesting one. Uh, let's have a quick look at the... No, no, no. Show history. Right. Here we go. Events. We'll do 2024 first. Work our way backwards. So Roman Reigns defeated Sheamus to retain the Universal Championship. Uh, Roman Reigns defeated Triple H to retain it in that one. Roman Reigns defeated John Cena in a cage match. Retain the title of WrestleMania. 
There's also Seth Rollins defeating CM Punk and The Rock to retain the other title. Uh, poor Cody Rhodes wasn't in the mix though, was he? Cody Rhodes just defeated Sheamus in a nothing say much. That would probably would have happened if Vince McMahon was still in charge in real life. Uh, Roman Reigns defeated Bobby Lashley to retain his title there. And then uh, Seth Rollins defended his title. Uh, Cody Rhodes won the money in the bank. Backlash, we had Roman Reigns defeating AJ Styles to retain his title. The Miz defeated Seth Rollins to win the title, so that's the when the Miz won it. Extreme Rules, Roman Reigns defeated Sheamus. The Miz defeated Cody Rhodes to retain the title. SummerSlam, we had Bobby Lashley defeating Roman Reigns, Triple H and Sheamus to retain his title. And then the Miz defeated The Rock, bloody hell, to retain the heavyweight title. Uh, Hell in a Cell, Bobby Lashley defeated AJ Styles to retain his title. Uh, Charlotte Flair defeated Oscar. Where's the other one? Maybe the other title wasn't defended. TLC, we had Bobby Lashley defeating Nakamura and Roman Reigns to retain his title and uh, yeah the, the other title wasn't defended on that one and then Survivor Series we had Rollins, Gable, uh, Ricochet and Usos defeating Orton, Elias, Kane and Heavy Machinery, Bobby Lashley defeated John Cena, uh, Cody Rhodes defeated Nakamura and then Clash of the Champions we had Street Profits defeating CM Punk and Apollo Crews in the main event Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. Uh, even though this was uh, probably there was probably other matches, right? And then we'll go 2025. We'll go Royal Rumble. Bobby Lash defeated AJ Styles. Seth Rollins won the Battle Royal. Becky Lynch won the Women's One. Bobby Lashley defeated Nakamura in that one. Alexa Bliss defeated Lita. Charlotte Flair defeated Bailey and AJ Lee. Last lane, we had Cody Rose defeating Andrade and Elias in a ladder match to retain the title. Bobby Lashley defeated CM Punk, AJ Styles, and R Truth to retain his title. Nice to see, uh, nice see R Truth in the mix. Cody Rose defeated Nakamura in the main event of WrestleMania. Uh, Bobby Lashley defeated Braun Strowman. Bit of a poorly booked WrestleMania, that was, wasn't it? And then Money in the Bank. Cody Rose defeated The Miz. Uh, Bobby Lashley defeated Austin Fury, Rhea Ripley defeated Charlotte Flair, Street Profits defeated Two Fly, Seth Rollins won the Money in the Bank, and then CM Punk and AJ Styles defeated Kevin Owens and Braun Strowman. There was other matches as well. Right, so that's that. So what I'm going to do then is come back in a second for the last show of the episode. Right, and we're back for the final show of this episode. Um, but yeah, let's uh, crack on with it a bit. Um, I'm just gonna pick this. As I said before, WX now continue to be a broadcast carrier for now, um, uh, for the next couple of months. Hopefully, in time we can get a better deal with a different company. But we just gotta make do with what we've got. So uh, at the moment, uh, there's a backstage incident involving uh Johnny Kidd and Roy Knight. Roy Knight was brought to wrestlers court accused of being absorbed by his phone and he should have been uh, paying attention to the locker room meeting. The judge joined the kid found guilty and sentenced him to buy a crate of beer for the locker room. Uh, had a small positive impact on Roy Knight, so that's good. Right, so I have no idea what to do with this show, so we're just going to do it on the fly as usual. Uh, I haven't really got any ideas. Oh, I know. I know what I want. To, I know what I want the main event to be. I think. Male. Oh no. Sorry. Uh, Kenny Williams. And then what we'll do is do that and do that. We do that. Right. So let's have a look. We've got Blue. Blue Kane's already a major star. He's already got over. Massively over in the Midlands. Bless him. Um. Just the Bambi killer, maybe Clint Margera. Yeah, uh, hmm, let me think. Clint Margera, maybe one of them, maybe do a hardcore match. Just looking down here, see if there's anybody else that stands out. 
No. Actually, I'll go TK Cooper for this one. Oh god, yeah, I remember. I remember them having a really poor match last time, so we won't do that. Uh, it's a good thing that reminded me. Right, we will go Clint Mugera. Um, we'll go. Uh, what should we do here? All right. We'll do it as a hardcore match, I think. Uh, in the ring. The Kenny Williams is the winner, as usual. Have it as a hardcore match. Uh, open match. And then what we'll do is we'll allow uh allow high risk moves allow spinal moves do a crazy bump do, no okay so we'll try a stump bump then no damn it okay well we won't have any bumps then but anyway oh uh okay so we'll do that at uh, 15 minutes then that's the main event, so we'll do an angle. Microphone, Clint, microphone. That's that to set that up. Um, do a tag team match. Who's the tag champions again? I can't remember. Uh, we can't have them at the moment because they're injured. Actually, in fact, I'm going to have to vacate the tag titles, I think. Because Mark Bivenson's injured for a while, so we're going to have new tag team champions here. Uh, males, tag team view, exclude. We'll go the Hooligans versus the Hunter Brothers. We'll have that as a wild brawl. Okay, so we'll do that with 15 minutes then. Yep. Right, we'll do an angle with these as well. So we'll have um, Zach Zodia fighting, Roy Giant fighting, Jim selling, oh, uh, Lee selling. I've hired some of the wrestlers. I forgot to do it, so I'll show you after this event. All right, let's do a women's match. As always, Ginny. Female. So I've signed some of us. I've signed Bobby Tyler. I've signed Shakara. I've signed Danny Hunter. Debbie Contell. I tell, sorry. Casey Owens, Kaylee D. Ray, somehow I got her. I'm going to have her in that match here. Uh, who else have I signed? Leah Owens, Olivia Grace, Mariah May, uh, Mariah May I managed to get as well. Uh, Mercedes Blaze, Rhea O'Reilly. Oh, by the way, Soraya Knight's retiring in a month or two time. Uh, and then Zara Phoenix. So we've got some, we got a bigger. Roster now. Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Right. Oh, uh, we'll do Ginny. Open match. And we'll go steal the show. Uh, Uh, I won't have that as steal the show. Just have that as a storytelling one. Bump that up to 20. 
Uh, we'll do an interview before with them. Ginny, microphone, Kayla E. Ray, microphone, six minutes as usual. Right, so we're all right. We're in, we're not going to get penalised because we've done enough angles, so we can just do matches now. So we just need to do some filler matches. So we'll do Mariah May, we'll have give her a debut. Female, who can she go against? Rhea O'Reilly, maybe? Casey Owens, actually. Try right, Casey Owens. Right, that's that. Okay. Try right, 15 minutes then. And we need to do Blue Cane versus somebody. Blue Cane's massively over now, which is good. Male. We have Warren Banks in there. Warren Banks. Be fifteen minutes. Hopefully that that'll let us do that. Domination. Protect. Do wild ball. Okay. We'll just go back to ten minutes then. Fine with me. Uh, right, still got to do another match. Who hasn't wrestled? Uh, Chris Box will do him. Chris, Chris Box. We'll have him against who hasn't wrestled yet. Actually, we'll just put Doris in there with him. Right, so do that. Okay, so everybody's happy. Let's swap that over there. Let's get the show on the road. Let's just double check, actually. Yeah, that's fine. So Blue Kane defeated Warren Banks in 10 minutes. Got a 40 rating. So Blue Kane's rating's going up a bit more, which is good. Warren Banks has uh, carried him to a good match. And then Chris Box defeated Doris. Only got a 33 rating, unfortunately. Chris Box sustained a... Wrench, I don't know, some sort of injury. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, Chris Boggs, not very good in the ring. So, and then them two had zero chemistry. Anyway, we got things back on track with Casey Owen defeating Mariah May. Got 47 rating. Uh, Casey Owen's 57 rated. Uh, Mariah May, unfortunately, 24 rated. Which is a shame, really, because Mariah May is actually a really good wrestler. Um, the angle with Kaylee Ray and Ginny got a 41 their match only got a 63 so Kaylee Lee Ray is not rated very well unfortunately so uh, Ginny and Kaylee Ray have great chemistry and it showed in their performance so that's good the announcers let us down I'll, I'll keep forgetting to change the announcers I need to change them again I'll do it after this show I'll just leave it for now the angle with the Hunters and the uh Hooligans got a 29 rating. The match got a 38 rating. Was a bit of disappointment. Hooligans win the tag titles. Uh, Angle with Clint and Kenny got a 48 rating. Their match only got a 57 rating. But I think it was a bit out of uh, out of Kenny Wynn's comfort zone. He only got a 64 rating, which isn't like him. So this show probably didn't do very well. Improved our region in nine, improved our popularity in nine regions though, got 55 rating. Got 77 people though, so that's good. So maybe, I think that might be the biggest crowd we've done. So that's good. Uh, yeah, good show to end the episode on. Sorry that my voice is literally on the verge of um, exhaustion right now. Right, 600 viewers again, so I don't think that's ever going to change. I think it's just going to be 600 for the rest of the time that we're in the de under the deal with them. But uh, yeah, 44,000. Um, we're doing well at the moment. We're building up a nice little nest egg. 23% uh, momentum, 3% prestige. So yeah, so we're doing well. Let's just quickly look at the show history. Just where the hell is There we go. So... 77, 38, 76, 74, 66, and then 
yeah, I think that's our biggest crowd. So I'll check just to be on the safe side. Yeah, so that was our biggest biggest crowd. So that's good. Um, we could do we getting better rate better ratings for the event. So, but um, if we just look at before we go, I'm trying to find popularity, but I can't bloody find it. Is it broadcast it now. Be here somewhere. Where the hell is it? Uh, product no. Broadcast, it's not broadcasting, is it? No, coverage is coverage, yeah. Coverage, oh, that's awesome. So, the largest coverage, I oh, know it's not coverage. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look later. I'll have a look afterwards. I swear it's here somewhere. Popularity, I just wanted to see how we were doing in other regions. Uh, let me know in the comments section. I don't know which one it is, anyway. Right, enough of that. I'm gonna rest my voice. Uh, enjoy the rest of my day and thank you as always and enjoy your weekend the rest of your weekend all the best bye